Yeah, hey everyone, Brian with you from the Game Covenant. We are playing more Curse of the Dead Gods. We are trying to get through the freaking Jaguar uh, Temple, man. We've now lost to the boss twice. Uh, we got a new event here. Let's see. Craving's absolute when the basic needs must be appeased. You start at Death's Door. Blood and gore, your only source of substance. Plus two. Yeah, see, I don't know if I like these words. Like, I like the one like that we just did where it was like black and white and stuff like that. That seemed pretty cool. So, um, don't like you. What are we going to roll with? It's been a day or two. I think I wanted this one because of the venomous fangs uh yeah i'm not a huge fan of the hammer although the fangs are just not working out for us but plus 20 percent crit damage is not bad i wonder if that applies only to that weapon i don't know i don't know but we'll, we'll roll here uh do we use everything at the end of last episode uh for the most part yeah i think we're basically just saving to upgrade our um our ability to get better weapons so we are gonna go once again for the quest of invulnerability we have now died to him technically twice although once was I, I guess that wouldn't have counted I suppose if we would have done it that way um I definitely want to replace weapons let's get some money going let's start with money relics to lower corruption but the thing is corruption's not been screwing us what's been screwing us is just the lack of damage on that final boss he does a lot of damage and he doesn't take a lot of damage so yes now it's been a couple days since we played so obviously there's always going to be a little bit of a how do i ever play again oh now i don't know what the perfect shot is oh i think it just said fully loaded you know we might need to look at it again all right, let's take a, uh, just shoot here when we get an opportunity. Just take like, just kill these guys when possible. And then yeah, you're good there. Okay, hold up, let's let's look at this again. Sufficiently charged range shots always trigger perfect shot. Oh, so I think perfect shot is only if you let go right at the same, the second. So I think what that's saying is even if we hold it, it still triggers, which is kind of interesting. Um, We'll take the extra healing effects. Not really that big of a deal right now, but we'll grab it. Also, we've had some pretty nasty curses, if I'm remembering, too. Yeah, so we're just getting the uh, better perfect shot. I don't know if I really care about that. The other thing is, we do have the bow as well. Yeah, I don't know. The bow does shoot through both, which is what's interesting about that. Um, I assume the bow is better than the Colt, honestly. I kind of feel like it's better. What's the damage difference? And see, the Colt does more damage, but I feel like the bow is doing more. But the thing is, the bow does shoot um, through enemies. Okay, heals 3% when enemies killed by the environment. Yeah. Yeah, I was debating to get rid of, just take the corruption on that. Um, And then this replaces the Colt with a dagger. I mean, yes, yes. Because, I mean, we really like that attack. That doesn't even use stamina. What? Okay. That is nice. All right. That's potential, then. That is some potential. Do we need to replace our weapon, then? Or do we just want to go for the upgrade? I feel like going attributes has not been working out for us, which is what we've been doing. I think let's keep what we got. Hold up. Hold up. Let me look at this dagger real quick. Based on perception. And I mean, this is poison. I mean, our weapons are really good for where we're at. The problem is, we're looking for weapons that are going to be really good in three levels. So this is where I'm still not 100% on the best way to do this. Uh, okay, so we've done this one before, so this is going to be a dead end. Yeah. We've done this before and then clearly just got murdered because, you know, I'm stupid. But that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. All right. Let's get this lit. And then. And yeah, I don't know how useful that pushback is going to be right now. What we like the pushback for is um, depending on who we're fighting. Like just getting out of the attack range is kind of nice. Uh, wait, what? Who hit us? I don't know who hit us. Yeah, I really have no idea who hit us there. <sighs> Finishers cost no stamina. I mean, let's pull it out and try. I'm gonna roll with the sword. I've not really tried the sword much. The last time we had the sword, we screwed up by getting rid of it. 
and we've been using the claw a lot although i really like the poison damage but yeah we've been using that claw a lot and it's not been working out for us when it comes to the final boss so let's try something else I mean, not using stamina on the finisher is kind of nice. Because essentially... Oh, God. Essentially, what that's allowing me to do is basically just only use our stamina uh, on rolling. You know, that whole perfect shot thing... Nah. Mm, no. Nah. No, no, no. I like my range. I think we need a little bit of range right now. But the perfect shot thing, you know, I don't think I really noticed the difference because I pretty much almost exclusively perfect shot. Not like patting myself on the back, but that is one thing I'm good at. So, wasn't this relics? Yeah, relics. Okay. Extra perception, which does help my dagger, but we're not using it right now. Each greedy kill removes one corruption. I mean, yeah, that's ridiculously good. And it's extra dex. Yeah, 100%. 100% ring of purity. 100%. So, we will be able to keep our greed probably low enough. Like, I don't know we're going to really have to worry about anything else gold for the rest of the game. Or, sorry, anything else corruption for the rest of the game. I think that's our sustainability. So, now we're looking for extra HP and damage. I mean, we have some stuff that gives us HP, but it's not, like, it's not really going to sustain us. I rolled a little too early. Did you really? Ah! You freaking turned off my torch, man. <laughs> a little punk, man. A little punk. Okay. Uh, base damage for bows. I mean, we'll take it for now. Although the corruption is interesting here. All right. Get these all lit and just let them all explode. We've been in this room before. Uh, I got scared because I saw that one lit and I thought it was about to explode. And I was like, oh, God. Even though it wasn't on the ground. Uh, don't see any fire in here. That's a... Kind of hate that because that's a elite. Which, it's kind of early for elites. Just throwing that out there, game. Yep, saw that one coming. Luckily, I was able to get out of it. And immediately after I talk about how good I am at hitting the perfect shot, I miss it. But, you know, hey, whatever. Uh, two base damage per gold. I mean, we'll take it once again. I don't know how good our gold's going to be. It might be worth it. It might not be worth it come in game, but we'll try it. I mean, we are about to get a nice little boost. Actually, that didn't put us at 1,000. Oh, no, we just got to 1,000. Kill you. Kill you. And time to bow you. And you ran away, but that's fine because I can kill you this way. Okay. Okay. Dude, I, I actually really like not using stamina on these kills. It's just like that's what 99% of the time causes us to take damage. I didn't see you right away. Is. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yep. 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 We're good. Oh, God. <laughs> We're good. Sorry. Sorry. That got scary there for a second. But yeah, it's always because lack of stamina, and we won't have to worry about that if our uh, main combos never use stamina. So I might be convinced to get rid of the dagger now. Just throwing that out there. I'm gonna go unknown, because we don't have a lot of money for upgrades. I think we're gonna upgrade our sword. Ugh, HP. I mean, it's a free room, I suppose, so. No enemies, but also no money. <laughs> And we can't lower our corruption either because there's no greed kills. Mm. We might. We might. Uh, depending on how things go, might go for both weapon upgrades and just take a curse. So we want greed kills here. Because that's lowering corruption. Oh, yeah, da, da, da. We just got hit with. Okay, now you're just being a punk here. All right, we're still lowering a little bit here. And there's still more fighting, so we're good here. Oh, that's a healer, dude. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, at least you respond on this side. Oh, that was a trap there. 
which I did not see and could have hurt. Okay, so we still lost a lot of corruption, I think, in that room. Unfortunately, we're still going to uh, take a curse, but, you know, hey, that's fine. Um, Because we're going to get rid of that curse here pretty quickly. So attacks from behind deal 30% damage. I hate that. I mean, are there other ways? I'm going to hit back, and we're going to go the other weapon upgrade. I don't think it's always the same. I think you can get different versions. Like, the thing is, we're not really attacking from behind. I mean, theoretically, we could... But it's not going to happen that often, so we should be able to get ourselves at zero, back to zero here. There's a mysterious comfort in the moments when death is near. Dodging makes you intangible with an increased dodge window. You can no longer perfect trigger perfect dodges. Oh, that actually is fine. Also, it's only going to last for one room, two rooms, so we don't need the stam regen from perfect dodges, so <laughs> get the kills, please. All right. Need the greed kills, please. Thank you. All right, we're back at zero, so I don't actually need greed kills anymore. Huh. So we're just gonna kind of just shoot these guys from range, because why not? Until they run on us. Oh god, just run away. Just kill. And I'm gonna shoot you until you die. Then gonna murder you, but you're gonna fly away. Ah, oh, shoot. That's the one guy I'm not really looking forward to fighting. Okay, run. Yeah, he's gonna be a pain. I'm trying to think the best way to kill him. When I picked up this weapon, part of me was like, oh yeah, we have the perfect weapon against that guy, this particular guy. But I don't know why I thought that. I mean, the bow works pretty well as well, so that's fine. I hate when they destroy my freaking lights. Uh, okay, finishers cost no stamina, and it gives us extra damage based on uh, dexterity. That's what we wanted to see here. And so then the next level should keep that uh, plus one base point per dexterity, right? Should. No. I mean, no. I, I, I need to upgrade my main weapon. I'm not worried about corruption, Brian. We're good on corruption. We, we're we not gonna be like perfect on corruption, but we're only gonna hit that final boss with like one or two corruption, theoretically. Theoretically. Now, unfortunately, we're gonna be at 20 corruption after this guy. Although actually, no, because we should be able to kill the doggies as well, right? Uh, we won't get grid kills on them though, probably. So maybe not. We might want one minor corruption lowering ability at some point, but not super concerned about that right now. That would have been really helpful to have that one. No, see, those are perfect, so that means they're summons. Ah, oh, dang it, Brian. So, just get ready, and then as soon as he pops the doggy out, remember you play, and you just kill him. Then we do our double dodge, and then, yeah, we just murder you from behind. We could actually do the dagger attack. I don't know if it's better. Oh, God. I don't know if staying in there is a bad problem. Like, I don't know. Will that kill us if we're in there? We've never tried it. Yeah, I don't like that, actually. It does push him away, which he doesn't attack, I think, unless he's in the center, but I don't know. I don't know. All right, kill you before you can do anything. So we, we know how to kill this guy without really any issues. Although we did take one shot, which is kind of hilarious and embarrassing, I will admit. Get out of here. We should try and see if that does damage to us, but I mean, really, the thing is, as long as you kill those dogs as soon as they spawn, it really isn't that big deal. I almost missed that. Yeah, that was easy. That was easy. Okay, give me some good stuff here, man. I actually would rather see relics versus weaponry, but... So that's just a strictly better one. Um... Well... Kind of. It's level 2. It does actually give us HP as well. So we could use the blade as our final. I'm gonna go ahead and take it. I mean, I was probably gonna take it anyways. <gasps> Finish shears, throw the spear, piercing through all enemies. Well, I'm clearly gonna take that. 
we can't remove a curse either, but that is an amazing weapon. Achievement unlock power. Yeah, that's the first, what, rare weapon that is? Actually, let's look at the achievement. I don't know what kind of weapon that is. A hidden champion's weapon. Oh, okay. Uh, extra damage in darkness and plus two dexterity. Did... Okay, we took it. Uh, unfortunately, I thought there for a second I screwed myself. My controller uh, unhooked. Because I can't, like, plug the controller back in once it, like, unhooks, which is really annoying. So, uh, how do I finish with this thing? One, two, three. I don't think that counts as a finisher. Nah, so it's a three tacker. So. I'm not opposed to it. Like, we could do something like this. And then, boom. Now, the downside is that uses a lot of stamina. Lots of stamina. Oh, uh, let's immediately go for another upgrade. Because my sword's a little... You know, get the next level in the sword, man. So the dagger's poison now, too? And it heals, right? Yes. I don't know how good that piercing's gonna be. So, yeah, I was gonna say, that should immediately get us. Okay, alright. Let's... Um, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Let's just let's just let's just try this again here. Yeah, I don't know how good that is, by the way. God dang it. <laughs> don't speak to me or my child ever again. <sighs> so yeah. And remember greed kills are lowering our Okay, you only attacked once. So, because we also get HP, we get more HP for killing. Oh, we do less damage in the light. Interesting. Uh, but what's crazy is we, so our spear then, not in the light. Well, in the light is just doing negative 30% damage. So, okay. So don't use the spear unless you're out of the light. Woo, run away on that. Okay, this is a little ridiculous here, guys, with the amount of high-level dudes. Like, what am I supposed to do on this? Okay. I, of course, hit the wrong freaking guy. So just keep running. Luckily, someone killed him. Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, I didn't think I was close enough. God dang it. Ugh, so that got rid of our greed. Nice. Gonna have to roll through this. I almost rolled into it because I'm an idiot. Okay. Okay. We made that work. <laughs> uh, how did we end up with that? So we ended up with a little extra corruption, I think. And we're down on HP. That's fine. So what does this even do? This is just additional damage, it looks like. I don't know if I'm a huge fan of it, just to be honest, but... And then this is just additional damage. And this is just additional damage. <sighs> Why am I upgrading this one versus the other ones? Because this one doesn't actually do any um, killing power. It's actually a good point now that I think about it. Because long term, we might want a better weapon there. Yeah, my original thought was... We're probably still going to use our main attack and then do the combo with the other ones. But that's a very good point where we might be looking to replace the sword because it's not good long term. God dang it. <laughs> okay, roll. Roll. Kill. And then I'm going to kill you there because that gives us extra HP. This is good. All right. So we're going to want to replace one of these, by the way. 30% all healing effects is probably pretty good. Damage for bows we don't need anymore. So sure. Sure. And I mean, I like killing with the spear. Don't get me wrong. But it isn't the best weapon in the game for sure. Okay. We got to run here. Go, 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 go. Like the biggest issue is just our stamina just goes to crap. Yeah, we're just, like, out of stamina right away with it. Okay. 
So I was really trying to get this to trigger, please. Thank you. Okay, we're good. And then we want to kill with the bow, or the this thing, the uh, spear, because it does uh, more a healing. Does that count as, this is darkness for sure. I gotta try looking at the damage numbers and see if I can tell the difference between the high level stuff and the low level. Oh, uh, that was a spear by the way. Barb Javelin. Let's take the HP. I was debating it for a brief second there just because it's like, there's no negative on it. But I don't think that was a good idea. So I think what we did is fine. Okay, so grab all the money. Then, yeah, roll out of here. And this is for, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Health treasure find. Blah. I think I'm just going to take the health. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take the health. Because we don't really need, it's not perception. Um, the green stat. <laughs> Why can I never remember it? Might, perception, and... Whatever the other one's called. We don't really need it. Like, it just gives you extra gold, which is fine, but... Yeah, I think I'll just take the extra HP. Um, we'll go gold here so we can go into the relic, and then we got um, potential weapon up, uh, changes there. Which we probably will replace our sword. So, yeah, I really think it was a bad idea for us to upgrade the sword. I think we should upgrade the... I mean, probably the special boss weapon, right? I don't know if we want... I <sighs> wow, I have no idea how that avoided. Oh my god, I rolled right into it. Uh, no, almost rolled into that as well. So... We're getting stamina back fairly efficiently here. And I mean, we're in the dark, so I think as long as we have Stam, we just use this weapon. Really? <laughs> I think we, what we should do is when we start, we need to do the main weapon. Do our main attacks, because those basically don't cost stamina so I can roll around. Um, but then as the guys start getting eliminated, I can't. No, it's actually lower level too. Um, but as we start eliminating enemies, that's when we go ahead and switch back to our um, spear. And we can start killing people that way for the HP gain. Because we can kill with the dagger. Also, we would still rather fight in the light versus the dark. Um, I think. Well, you take less damage in the light, which is why I think we'd rather still fight there when given an opportunity. But rarely do we end a fight in the light. Goodbye. Uh, you were supposed to get killed by the environment, please. Because that also gives us HP. Um, we were max, so I wasn't as concerned about that. So this is Gold Room. Uh, Storm Lash, secondary weapon. I don't think I want it. No. I mean... <laughs> you, know, you know my opinion in whips, so... Alright, remember on this, we basically kind of take our time here and wait for everyone to die and try grabbing as much gold as possible because uh, they're all going to eventually die. Yes. We actually got greed kills, which means that lowered our corruption. Which, by the way, we're about to max out our corruption again. Me. We're fairly close to the boss. Yeah, we are. So once again, we're going to go in with one relic, or one corruption, which is totally acceptable. Blood offerings do not cost corruption, they cost health instead. Uh that's fine. In the scheme of things, it's easier right now for us to heal than um, lower corruption. Yeah, I think I still would rather have a ranged weapon. God dang it. Ah. Oh, that hit me. Frick. Um, in the scheme of things, that's okay, though, because... Oh, you know, I didn't realize, but the charge spear actually does damage. I weakens him. That was really terrible all the way around. But yeah, I didn't even think about that. That is a good thing to know here. You might want to use that here in a little bit. Okay, so there's nothing there, so we might as well just roll through. 
Um, that looks like another room, so yeah, give me the money. Eh, thank you. Not really any other money here. Ah, but there's a trap. Nice. This doesn't do anything, right? Actually, that's a good question. I wonder if we can trigger you. If this does anything. Nope. All right, so that's how you basically get to secret rooms we're discovering. You know what? I should have <laughs> I should have triggered the um the range thing before I ran. Oh, I forgot about that with the daggers. Eh. Yeah. That's an interesting. Okay. Okay. We're still pretty good here. We're fighting mostly in the dark. I rolled wrong. So then how did I get the... It's interesting. Because I, I weakened the one enemy and I have no idea how I did that. Huh. It was with that attack too. Serpent Blade replaces my Serpent Blade, but it's just strictly worse. So thank you for the money. Yeah, I got that weakening that one time, but I just don't know how I did it. Oh! I didn't know those could actually be storing skulls. Good to know. I mean, it shows you when there's stuff in there, so I shouldn't be like just wasting them, but still. Okay, so this is a weapon replacement. S oh no, it's a relic one. Never mind. I thought we were in the weapon replacement one. I'm early. <sighs> Six con. Seven con. Less blood offering cost. Which remember, it's not actually costing us blood right now. Now, when you say blood, how much blood is it? 350 HP. That's a lot of HP. That's a lot of HP. I don't think it's worth it. Mm -mm. Now this, on the other hand, because we already have... Just an upgrade to this one. We could also favor here. I'm gonna spend my HP. A, it's gonna keep our damage a little higher, but B, I think we can gain HP back a little easier. Like, I think the next couple rooms we can get back to max. And honestly, the boss wasn't hard either. I'm trying to remember which boss was this one. Was this the knifey boss? No, that's the third temple. I fought this boss like four times. You'd think I should remember this by now. Um, okay, so we wanna kill you this way, preferably. That's actually a really good way. So that's like, oh, uh, that's a really good way to get kills. Yeah. Oi, that's also a really good way to get whacked. Run, run. Okay. Good, good. Remember the greed kills are lowering. Oi, ya da. Okay. But the greed kills are lowering your, um, dang it, healer. Corruption as well. All right, get the kill that way. And totally screw that attack up, but. It must just be a random chance or something. So yeah, use the main weapon here just to get him down a little bit and then go hard. There we go. Okay. And we're just exclusively fighting in the dark right now. It doesn't really matter to me. So I don't think I want to get rid of this unless it's something super amazing. Because like finishers cost no stamina is too good to miss. 30 damage while in the darkness, 30% damage. I'm gonna pass. Oh, this is a main throwing weapon. Interesting. This one's interesting because we're exclusively fighting in the dark. So I kind of liked it. But it is a lot less damage. I know it attacks quicker. But I think we're gonna pass because next room is also a new weapon one. So if we don't like what we got there, then we can go here. Okay. Or we can always, um, we can always uh, reroll these, so. We're 
Not lowering corruption as much as I kind of expected to be. So keep in mind, Brian, there's traps around the outside. Uh, so that was actually killed by the environment, which also gives us HP. That was not the right weapon. Yeah, there we go. Ah. Just run. I have no idea what we did there, but it works. So I will not complain. Ah, wrong one. And then we're gonna kill you this way, punk. Good. Oh, I almost had him in the trap. <sighs> Trying to get you in the trap, man. All right, not working, not working. Got him. <laughs> that was risky as hell. Boom, baby. That's how you gain HP back. Boom. That that was well played. Um, we were in the light the entire time too, but yeah, that was an extraordinarily well played dungeon room. Uh, we don't want the light, that's for sure. And then these are just claws again, which aren't particularly great. Removes one corruption for any enemy killed, so we could do that instead. Yeah, let's use the favor and let's see where we end up here. Secondary weapon is a dagger. Significantly more damage. I don't know if I like it though. Yeah, here we go. It's less damage because we don't get the dex. <sighs> nah, even though it's a higher level, I think we gotta keep what we got, man. And I do kind of like the idea of range. Daggers are always really good. But the thing is, I'm going to take it. I don't really like pistols. I don't really like guns. But I think I want it because I think having a range is really useful. Um, which means we're not going to be able to heal anymore. So we're not going to get any kills on this. Or, I mean, we might get kills this way. Can I do? Yeah, we can do it that way. That still requires stamina, but um, but I can't do this, right? No. All right, well, we're going to wrap this episode up here. Tomorrow, we will come back and try to get into the final part of the dungeon and kill the boss. But hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button. Join the game, comment, share your support. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everyone.